and the Debrady Channel's back. Today we are talking about Lake Oroville. Wow, things are going to get crazy up at Oroville again. We had all that rain and the majority of it went south. And I show you this all the time that you can't get too caught up in the models. But things could potentially get crazy again and we'll be going over all of it. Let's get right out to it. We are starting off at Tropical Tidbits today. And we are on Sunday, February 11, 2024. And here we go. This system is going to get crazy you can see the big system out here in the east gonna pick up this atlantic moisture and kick it back to pennsylvania but the rest of the country is fairly dry beyond that uh, starting tuesday and we are going to be getting into an active system here we go there's possibly rain coming in and the gfs is being really bullish this time and it's within the next 10 days so take it for what it's worth we're a long way out we're already next saturday you can see here it comes it, it's going to get really extremely wet we're on february 18th you can see this low pressure kicking in here and it is going to hammer california there's going to be a ton of rain some snow in the higher elevations and you can see it kind of fizzles out but there's a one-two punch here comes another system right behind it and then we go to the 22nd another little low pressure out here kicking in and then we keep on scooting here we are into the 22nd it starts to scoot away we go to the 23rd and there's snow for the colorado that's good news continue to go this develops into a nice low pressure out here and then it starts to scoot away as well now this is very far out so it's hard to say we're 25 26 and 27 and then there's more snow for washington and southern canada so we'll be watching this to see if this scoots down it's a long way out hard to say what will happen let's go check out when com next we go to the next 12 hours no rain we go to the next 24 hours no rain the next three days you can see it start to creep in just a bit we go to the next five days you're talking about a half inch up here at lake shasta a little bit down here by lake oroville not much to speak of down here by the american river and Folsom. just not a whole lot trinity is going to get about seven tenths of an inch in the next five days this is generally what we like to look at but the next 10 days is very 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 bullish now this is the GFS, the same model we were just looking at. And look at this, 7.87 over here. Lake Shasta, 7.27. We go down to Lake Oroville, 3.9. That's a typical snowstorm this time of year. My friends down in Yuba City, Steve, and the rest of the game, 2.1 down there. Grass Valley, 2.05. We go down to my friends down at, at Folsom Lake here, and 1.51. We go down to Bear Valley, 1.22. Yosemite Valley, 1.66. Now this is the next 10 days and this is the gfs let's compare the two models and see what's going on now the two models are not in agreement so with this being said we're gonna have to watch this so every other day i will be doing a lake orville update or if this system gets a little less or if it gets a little more intense it's really hard to say this is pretty early in the day they haven't done any updates this is more from last night still so 1.75 inch at bishop mammoth lakes 4.23 yosemite valley 5.98 bear valley 6.36 we go to grass valley 6.36 we go over to chico you're talking about 5.9 we go down to my friends down in yuba city you're going to get 4.69 we go up to east quincy you could potentially get 6.22 chester you could potentially get 5.22 we go up to mount chester now you can see they're not calling for near the amount of rain up here that they were we go to gfs for mount chester and you can see they're calling for 5.08 and then over there 5.86 we go down to trinity you can see 7.88 over there but they're only calling for four on this model on the european so a little more bullish over here but pretty close to the same let's go to oroville and check the difference so this is right at the heart of lake oroville 6.49 and 3.46 that's the difference between the two we go to yuba city 2.14 for the gfs the european they're calling for 4.8 we haven't even discussed snow yet we'll be doing that here in a minute like rare valley they're calling for 6.33 but the gfs is calling for an inch and a quarter so we'll see which one ultimately wins you can see if we scoot out a little bit they got this more northwest north central california and the european has it 
all the way down. Even in Los Angeles, more rain for you. Remember how bad that storm was last week. So the GFS is not calling for near the amount of rain for Los Angeles. So we go over to my friends over in Lake Havasu, Arizona, 0.28 there, and then we go 0.8. So you can see the models are not in agreements whatsoever. Let's go to the snow accumulation and see what the difference is. Just as I thought, you're going to get a, quite a bit of snow over in the Colorado. We come over to, to South Lake Tahoe, and you're talking maybe 48 inches with the European model, but the GFS is only calling for six. So definitely not in agreement. So time will tell. We come up to Trinity up here in the high elevations. You're talking possibly 24 inches with the GFS, but then you come over here and they're like, are calling for more, 32 inches. So we will watch and see what ultimately happens. We scoot in over here to Lake Orville area. We go to Caribou, 49 inches, and the GFS is calling for 26. So who knows? Time will tell, but it could be a doozy or it could be a dud. What do you guys think? Get down on the conversation below and tell me what you think the weather's going to do. You're seeing what I'm seeing. Let's roll out to my graphs and see what what's going on at Lake Folsom first today and we'll go from there. Now some people say it's Lake Folsom and some people say it's Folsom Lake. Either way it's Folsom. We are going out to Folsom and the current water level is 428.74 and that was Sunday February 11, 2024 at 8 a.m. The level is currently 37.42 feet below full pool of 466 feet. The lake is up 0.16 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 16.59 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 8.8 .8 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 16.85 feet. Over the last 120 days, the lake is down 13.90 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 10.48 feet. Your current inflows are 3,050. Your current outflows are 4,097. So the lake should start to recede, dropping a bit. Maybe they are preparing for the potential of rain coming within the next 10 days. So they're starting to release more than it's coming in. Let's go out to your graph for Folsom and you can see that in 2022, the level was 420.25. Last year, we were looking at 418.26. Today, we're at 428.74 feet. And we go out to your percentage of capacity. We are currently looking at 61.67%. Let's go up to Lake Trinity next. As we roll out to Trinity or Lake Trinity or Trinity Lake, however you want to call it, the current water level is 2,312.89 feet. And that was Sunday, February 11, 2024 to 8 a.m. The level is 57.11 feet below full pool of 2,370. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.29 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 3.69 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 11.49 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 25.12 feet. Over the last 120 days, the lake is up 5.35 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 84.33 feet. Your inflows are 2,301. And of course, like generally, always, outflows are zero currently at Lake Trinity or Trinity Lake or however you want to call it. Your bar graph is currently 2,225.73 feet in 2022. In 2023, the level was 2,225.90 feet. Of course, today we're looking at 2,302.47 feet. And your dead pool is 2,100. We go out to percentage of capacity, and your current percentage of capacity is 66.17. Over to Lake Shasta we go next. As we roll out to Lake Shasta, you can see that the current water level is 1,039.95 feet, and that was Sunday, February 11, 2024, to 8 a.m. The level is 27.05 feet below full pool of 1,067. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.07 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 29.72 feet. Lake Shasta is also up 8.13 feet over the last 14 days. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 25.53 feet. Over the last 120 days, the lake is down 2.97. Over the last 
year, the lake is up 48.65 feet. Your inflows are currently 16,612. Your outflows are 10,186. As we go out to your bra graph, you can see that full pool level is 1,067. In 2022, we are looking at 935.90 feet. Last year, we were looking at 991.30 feet. We are currently at 1,039.95 feet. Your record high is 1,066.94 feet. Percentage of capacity is currently 83.29%. Down to Lake Oroville for the final stop. And for those of you who are wondering about Lake Tahoe, I've been really busy this week. A lot going on, and I haven't had a chance to finish. I'm closer, but I probably haven't finished, hopefully, by the next one we do. And with this weather forecast, I need to get that done quicker than later. As we roll out to Lake Oroville for our final stop tonight for lakes, for current water levels, 847.21 feet. And that was Sunday, February 11, 2024, at 8 a.m. The level is 52.79 feet below full pool of 900. Changes since yesterday. The lake is up 0.18 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 4.71 feet over the last seven days. Lake Oroville is up 5.05 feet over the last 14 days. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 25.31 feet. Over the last 120 days, the lake is down 4.02 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 28.17 feet. Your inflows are currently 9,001. Your outflows are 2,688. We go out to your graph here, and you can see that full pool is 900. In 2022, we were looking at 745.98 feet. Last year, 819.04 feet. Today, 847.21. Record high, 902. Record low, 628. Percentage of capacity is currently 78.33%. Now we're going to go out to the snowpack. As we roll out to the snowpack, you can see we are a little bit better than we were last week at this time. We're at 83%, and this is a little bit higher at 56%. So this is much needed and much welcome snow. We're only about half of where we need to be for April 1st. We wish this was higher but it's not not as good as the Colorado the Colorado is currently around 92 percent as I said earlier 93 somewhere in there and we are currently looking at 51 percent for the central for April 1st average 74 percent 50 percent for Southern California 73 percent so we definitely definitely need a lot more let's go out to percentage of capacities for all the lakes and see what that is I won't share with you these because I just told you what all those were new Malone's is the day 82%, New Boulard's Bars at 78%, McClure's at 65%, Pine Flats at 67%, Millerton's 59%, 97% for the day. So the lakes look in pretty good shape overall. You can check this out. I'll leave it linked below. Trinity, however, for the day is at 102, so that's good at 66%. So we'll be watching this. Diamond Valley's 93%, Kachuma's at 99%, and 143%, and we will be back probably either, probably tomorrow afternoon with a Lake Mead update, and then Lake Oroville will be keeping a real close eye on. If things get better, maybe I won't be back. If things get worse, I'll definitely be back sooner than later. So you guys have a blessed day. We'll see you on the next one. God bless.